because the cooking can be incredibly stressful. Yeah, but we found some ways to make the process easier. Our consumer expert Amy Davis is here with some Thanksgiving hacks. This is awesome. Yeah, these are pretty cool ideas, okay, because anybody knows that roasting the turkey while also putting together all of the fixins can give anybody a headache. But we've got easy ways to make sure you don't overcook anything while also using some tricks to speed up your meal prep. So first, did you know it's a good idea to ice down the turkey breast before you put it into the oven? That's because the white meat cooks faster than the dark meat. So the ice will help make sure both meats cook evenly, preventing you from overcooking the bird and drying out that white meat. So you can put ice packs right on the breast or even put ice in a Ziploc bag and just sit it on top before it goes in the oven. So pretty cool. Another staple side dish, the mashed potatoes. Everybody makes them, but it takes forever. It's time consuming. There are ways around it. You can microwave the potatoes instead of boiling them. I and mean, if you're going to mix them all together anyway, you can also add a touch of baking powder to make them fluffier. That's a step, a step I always forget. You can also put the potatoes in the dishwasher on the quick rinse cycle to avoid scrubbing. So if you don't want to wash all those potatoes, just empty your dishwasher, put them in there. And if you don't want to have to peel them with the potato peeler first, just boil your potatoes with the skin on the peelings, then immerse them in cold water and the skin comes right off. And if you're tired of people fighting over getting the best part of the stuffing or dressing, you can cook the mixture in muffin tins. So this makes everyone's get the crispy topping, right? And it, the serving sizes are also all worked out. Yeah, right. nice. And then finally, dessert. Bakers will spend hours cooking the perfect pie, but there are easy ways to get that perfect crust. So after you've rolled out your dough, you can freeze the crust while you're making your filling, and this lets the gluten relax and keeps that crust from shrinking, you know, back in so that it's not nice settled over the edges of the pie plate. Mm. So rice is a good tool to weigh down the crust. You just put foil and then put a bunch of heavy rice in there. Okay. It weighs it down to keep it from shrinking back up. And if you want an easy way to decorate your pie, try <laughs> using a beaded necklace around the edge of the pie plate. Really? Just clean it first. It makes a really um, <laughs> cool imprint on the pie crust design and you'll also impress your crowd. Oh, yeah, okay. So yeah, we want to know what your Thanksgiving cooking hacks are. If you've got any to speed up the process, to make everyone go, wow, this is so cool. You can share them right now on our Facebook page. That's where we're talking about this. And yeah. I already started getting some last night, but some pretty cool ideas. That Anything ice to make one it got me right off the bat with yeah. the uh, icing yeah. down and the, the turkey. turkey. I, never I know, I still have not made a Thanksgiving turkey. Never. I'm I feel never. like I'm not a grown up until I actually no. do it, but my mom still does it every year. That's or we buy it. God. Yeah. A fried turkey or smoked turkey. That's another good way to go. Mm -hmm. Right. So many good, you know, people frying them, uh, smoking oh, them. Injecting them, them with yeah. all sorts of things. Right. I love it. It sounds yummy. I kind of leave it to the professionals. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. But thanks for the tips. Yeah, right. <laughs>